Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product every day series. Today I am so excited to be trying out another Dollar General makeup product and LA Colors makeup product. It's actually a little shocking to me that there are still some LA Colors makeup products that I have not tried out yet because I love LA Colors and I have seriously tried out hundreds of products from them. But this one here, this is a classic product that I surprisingly have not tried out yet. The LA Colors Mineral Pressed Powder. And you can get this at Dollar General for $4. That's what I did. But I also saw that you can get this at a bunch of other places. Walmart, I mean LA Colors website, like there's other places to get this. But the cheapest place that I saw it was $4 at Dollar General. So I'm glad that I got a good deal on it. So I got this in the shade Fair, but looking at the LA Colors website, it actually comes in a lot of shades for a powder like this. It's a lightweight powder that allows the skin to breathe. It's a formula that is talc free and fragrance free, natural coverage with a velvety smooth finish. But All right, so. I love that the packaging has a mirror and it comes with a sponge underneath. And I'm gonna try using the sponge. I typically do like these types of sponges. It's like the, um, how do I even describe it? It's almost got a little bit of like a stickiness foam, like a dense sticky foam. And it might work nicely, but if it doesn't, I do have my makeup sponge to try out as well. But okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the applicator and applying it to half of my face and comparing how my skin looks with it versus without it. That didn't do anything. I'm gonna pick up some more. <laughs> hmm. I mean, definitely not much coverage happening, but that's with this applicator. I'm gonna try, I'm actually gonna try using the silicone part of this sponge first. I feel like I'm just, just gonna try out a bunch of different techniques, but picking up some on my silicone sponge. Hmm. I feel like I might be able to get some more coverage this way. A silicone sponge is definitely working better than the applicator that came with this, but now I'm actually gonna flip my sponge over and this is just a classic sponge, which I did dampen. And let's see how this side works. Mm. This I would say is more similar to the actual applicator that comes in it. And it's, I was kind of expecting it to be more of like a powder foundation, but it doesn't really have much coverage and it's leaving some weird texture on my skin like it yeah like this looked almost like dry flaking skin which I don't have on my forehead but then as I'm rubbing it in with my finger it's like going away but it like left cakiness and dryness where I didn't even have really dry skin also here on my cheeks like I, I don't have dry skin here on my cheeks but it is like looking so cakey and looking like flaking skin. What is going on? Okay, another technique I'm gonna try is just using my finger. Let's see how this is. Uh, I'm like, is there a section of my face where I didn't apply it yet? I'm gonna try this side of my face. No, still looking dry and cakey, but it doesn't have a dry and cakey texture. It has a pretty buttery, velvety texture. 
but it does not look smooth or buttery on the skin. Hmm. I'm just, I'm seriously trying out every method because I don't want to accept that this powder is not gonna work for me, but let's say, ooh, that I'm using a brush and I'm just dusting it over my skin for a little mattifying effect, maybe like a setting powder type of look. And let's see how this is. Because I think I have learned that no matter what technique I use, it's not gonna be giving the coverage foundation And you know, it's just not looking the way I, I want a powder to look on my skin. So it's mattifying, but it's also just drying and cakey. And it's just not worth it. I mean, $4 is not expensive, but also why does it look like a bronzer on my nose. Like it oxidized on my nose here. Weird. Whoa, that is very strange. Um, nothing. Like, oh, it's kind of oxidized on my forehead too. So even the color of it is like uneven where I've applied it. Oh. So as much as I love LA Colors products, this one, I just have to say, is a miss for me. I can't get it to work. It's just not a product that I would recommend. And I really wanted to find some sort of use for it. You know what? Maybe one use for it, set the eyelids after I prime them because it's a light enough shade that I could use it to set the lid. But besides that, <laughs> If you have any other ideas of how I can get use of, out of this, let me know in the comments down below because the thing with Dollar General makeup products is, well, I guess I don't know for sure, but I assume once I've opened it, I can no longer return it. So at least I only spent $4 on it, but now I have it and I don't want it to just go to waste, <laughs> but oh well. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.